I'm Professor Eric Saylor from the Department of Music, and I'm here to talk about a book that has nothing to do with music. Um, but my main training as a musicologist is as a historian, and one of the first pairs of books I ever read that really got me interested in history as a potential career was I, Claudius, and Claudius the God by Robert Graves. Uh, Robert Graves, born in 1895, died in 1985 in one of the great polymaths of English language and literature. He was a soldier, a poet, an author, a novelist, a literary critic, an academic. Uh, he was a dessert, a dessert topping floor wax. He's everything. He did lots and lots of things over the course of his very, very long career. And I, Claudius, and Claudius the God are two of his crowning achievements. I, Claudius came out in 1934, Claudius the God the following year. And these are studies of the history of the first four emperors of Rome after Julius Caesar, told from the perspective of the fourth that is the Claudius, the title. Now these are written from Claudius's point of view, so they read like autobiographies, although they aren't. The general categorization of these books is that of historical fiction. But that's kind of like saying Lord of the Rings is a fairy tale. It's way too narrow and it's way too limiting to talk about it. What Graves did in creating these books was to go back to original sources from uh, Claudius's own time, from the early days of Imperial Rome, and, uh, and essentially pieced together the history of this whole era. He actually mentioned this in the foreword to Claudius the God, and this is worth noting here, the, just the range of the different sources that he went to, because people who read I, Claudius first tend to criticize this, said some reviewers of I, Claudius suggested that in writing it, I merely consulted Tacitus's Annals and Suetonius's Twelve Caesars, run them together, and expand the result with my own vigorous fancy. This is not so. Among the classical writers who have been borrowed from in the composition of Claudius the God are Tacitus, Dio Cassius, Suetonius, Pliny, Varro, Valerius, Maximus, Orosius, Frontinius, Strabo, Caesar, Columella, Plutarch, Josephus, Didorus, Siculus, Photius, Zivilinus, Zonorus, Seneca, Petronius, Juvenal, Philo, Celsius, uh, Celsus, the authors of the Acts of the Apostles and of the Pseudo-Gospels of Nicodemus and St. James, and Claudius himself in surviving letters. So there's a lot of extremely involved historical background that goes into these. And the tone of the stories brings it just beautifully to life. This is Claudius himself, um, again, taken from his memoirs and from the histories that he would know of. Let me give you an example just of the very opening line, a very nice rambly style that characterizes a lot of this. I, Tiberius, Claudius, Drusus, Nero, Germanicus, this, that, and the other, for I not, shall not trouble you yet with all my titles, who was once and not so long ago either known to my friends and relatives and associates as Claudius the Idiot, or that Claudius, or Claudius the Stammerer, or Claw Claw Claudius, or at best as poor Uncle Claudius, am now about to write this strange history of my life. It's a beautiful opening and draws you in immediately because the thing about Claudius was that he was considered to be an idiot. He was lame, he had a stammer, he drooled, he was thought to be mentally deficient but it was those characteristics that helped him survive the reigns of Augustus, Tiberius, and the bloody-minded Caligula. Uh, the first volume, I, Claudius, tells of the, the reigns of those first three emperors, Augustus, Tiberius, and Caligula. Claudius the God tells of Claudius' own reign as the fourth great emperor of Rome and almost the last of the Caesars. Comes right up to his very death and, pre and presages the rule of Nero after him. They are brilliant reads, engaging, witty, beautifully written. If you have any interest whatsoever in ancient Rome, if you have any interest in autobiography, if you have, have any interest in political intrigue, then these are two wonderful, marvelous books to go ahead and while away. They were my favorites when I first came to them at the age of about 14. I still reread them about every year or so uh, because they are, there's something new and compelling every single time you go through. So I, Claudius, Claudius the God by Robert Graves.